Welcome to the first ever video of Clever Coding. Today I'm going to be teaching you the basics of C++ programming language. For us to get started, we'll need to download our IDE. And what I'm talking about is an integrated development environment. So first we go to our favorite browser, open up your favorite browsers and type dev C++ download. And in the first uh, part of the, I see this first link, just click this link and it's the sourceforge.net. And you're gonna see this green download button. So just click this. And we're gonna use this developer ID where we could, it's basically a text editor in which you could write your code and have other options as well for reducing less text and making more code efficient. So, so after downloading this, we open up our dev C++, which is right over here. I have, I'm just gonna open it once. And now it's open. So this is our interface of the dev C++. And this is my version is 5.11 currently what while I'm recording this video. And I know that in the future, there will be an updated version for this. But what the heck? So first, we're going to start by getting a new file. So just press Control N, and you're going to have an untitled one. And you can notice your cursor is blinking over here, and there's a one over here. And you can just press Enter key, and you can see two, three, four, five, six. So they basically, these are text editors which give you predefined functions, and they give you hints, and also make them allow you to type less and make your code work even faster. So. So getting started by C++, we're going to have to include our traditional header files. And these header files are just used to activate some of the necessary functions we need in our code. So this first header file is called the input output stream. So we're going to need this one right now. And then we use this using namespace standard. And I'm going to be teaching you what this actually means later on but right now you you don't need to know so integer main is our next line and which is our third one and we open our curly braces like this and s notice that i just pressed the first curly braces and the right and the left one the other one the closing one just appeared this means that this helps uh, us figure that text editors text editors are better and easier to use and they're user friendly. So enter key and now I could just write some simple code and uh, console output and you could just write hello world. So we start saving this by writing code one and notice that it's saved now. You could see that's code one changed over here. So I'm going to go in my execute button and click this run. And when I run, it's going to compile first the whole code. And then after that, it's going to execute. So now look at this. It's processing C++ source file. And in any moment, it's going to look that black screen, that terminal screen popping up and saying, hello world. And then you can see this process exit exi exited after 0 0.278 seconds and we blah 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 enter key to continue and that was our first program and this was basic hello world program which you start in any kind of programming language this is a tradition for whether you're starting from c plus plus or you're starting from python javascript you're always going to have to have this kind of hello world where you just show like you try and implementing your basic concept and showing that you could display some kind of string or a sequence of characters on the screen. So this was our first video and in the next video we'll be getting a little more deeper into the ba major concepts of coding where we're going to learn data types and structures. So tune in and hope you show, uh, make sure you subscribe to the channel to get no, notifications of upcoming videos and hope we see you in the next video. Bye.